I'm Ryan McAllister, Practical Farm Research Director. Thanks for joining us for another edition of the PFR Report. Today we're in Colfax, Iowa, where we are going to look at a new cover crop application study involving the Salford Independent Series Vertical Tillage Tool with an attached cover crop seeder. Let's go there now. Hi, my name's Jason Henners. I'm with the Salford Group. We're here today to talk about our Ice Series Salford Vertical Tillage Machine and also our Valmar Cover Crop Seeder 55 Series. The Coil Tech actually has what we call a jackhammer effect. So it's creating vibration in that mount through the coulter, which in, in the end results in more fracture in the ground. Um, with the vertical tillage tool, uh, our goal is to fracture the ground as much as we can without completely taking the structure out of the ground. The Valmar unit itself, um, this particular model is a 1655 series. It has a 33 cubic foot hopper. It's the smallest uh, unit that we make. We also make two larger sizes, one that is a 40 cubic foot hopper, one that is a 60 cubic foot hopper. Uh, the larger hoppers would also have more outlets for your needs up to 60 or 70 foot widths. I'm Wade Kent, I'm the uh, Central Iowa Field Agronomist for Bex Hybrids and today we're here at Colfax uh, just discussing the benefits uh, of cover crops uh, as well as some methods that we're looking at to seed them, get them out there and, and really look at some of the issues that we tend to run into uh, when we're trying to get that, that late season application of cover crops on. So behind me we have a, uh, we have a Salford uh, vertical tillage system with a uh, cover crops uh, seed box on there so we're actually able to uh, seed these cover crops in front of the machine and then uh, utilize that machine to get those cover crops worked in and agronomically uh, cover crops are becoming a, a more common topic that's being discussed uh, throughout throughout the uh, farming world and uh, the one thing that we we talk about when we talk about cover crops is the benefits that they bring so beyond the establishment piece uh, when we look at a cover crop uh, you really have the option there you're going to have that you're going to have a essentially a uh, cover in a year-round cover which is a good thing that's really going to help in reducing the amount of uh, of wind and water erosion that you have so you're going to maintain that soil there uh, at the same time uh, you're going to be able to have a lot better water retention potentially a lot more nutrient retention depending on the cover crop that you select of course and then again the other benefit that it brings is you know depending on, on what type of method you're using in the spring if you're burning it down and planting into that cover uh, that's going to really help with weed suppression as well but uh, overall you know the cover crop beyond the weed suppression and the erosion the other thing that's commonly being discussed in one of the uh, hot topics right now is the fact that you know if you have a crop growing year-round including you, you know your commodity crop that's out there uh, you're going to really help in, in generating, I guess, a more healthy soil where, you know, those microbial communities, everything that's out there uh, are going to be able to last. They're going to live a lot longer. They're going to be much more robust. And in the end, uh, that's really going to help improving overall soil health, potentially soil tilth. And then uh, at the same time, if we can build some of that organic matter, you're also going to build your overall nutrient availability, which potentially has the... Uh, uh, impact that you may be able to reduce certain certain nutrients into the future if you have a very well established system uh, utilizing a cover crop. My name is Ben Yonke. I'm the PFR location lead here in Colfax, Iowa. Um, had the opportunity to operate the Selford uh, unit sitting behind me here. Uh, the biggest thing we noticed was uh, ground speed. Um, it seemed like if we fell below that eight and a half mile an hour mark. Uh, we started to not get the uniform seed bed that we wanted and we found if we kept in the eight and a half to ten mile an hour range um, we got that ideal seed bed with a lot of shatter a lot better shatter and um, a lot better incorporating of the crop residue some of the benefits of using this tool we're hoping to see would be um, increased efficiency and um, seed savings versus a, a broadcast application 